Hey guys, how are you doing? It's a Sunday morning, uh, a little cloudy, rainy kind of day. Yesterday was too, kind of put a damper on yard sale. So uh, I went out yesterday, didn't buy much. Um, I was gonna go out today, it's still kind of the same deal. So I skipped going out yard sailing, but uh, decided to do some work on the van and uh, take you along, show you what we're doing, what the process is. I uh, forget what the last video, oh, the last one I did was the uh, car show. Uh, the tidy whiteies are on it, all put together. And kind of pretty much other than the chrome on the outside, the outside is almost done as far as uh, dressing it up. So I kind of want to get some of the interior up and running. And to get all the camper interior in it, I have to get curtains on those two windows. So I am going to try tackling that today. Uh, hence you see this stuff laying around. I was trying to come up with some kind of material to do the curtains. I didn't really know what I wanted to go with. The windows are 16 inches tall. Uh, the only thing I really found that kind of it was actually in our house and it was, it was hanging in our house was these things. I know they're kind of they got grapes on them. There's like red and blue grapes on them and then there's grapevines all in between that patterns on one side and then it's white on the back side um, so I'm gonna start with these if I find something different I'll switch it out but at least I'll get everything hung up and hanging into place I went to Home Depot last night and it seems like you can't find enough of anything but I got these like little pencil looking uh, curtain rods they're very tiny about uh, I don't know what are they 3 16 diameter something like that the size of a pencil I'd say and the way they hang is um, they have little holes in the end of them and the bracketry form. You can probably see this one better. The brackets, and that's the back side of it, stick up like with a hook. So you have two of them facing down and two of them facing up. You'd hang the rod on it and then you kind of pull down and let it, the tension of the curtain grab the other side of it it'll, it'll keep the rods right against the window unfortunately I only was able to find 10 of them and I need 16 so uh, the one window right here uh, these two windows right here where the cabinets gonna go I'll put them top and bottom so I can put the cabinet in and start putting my interior in and uh, I'll do a single on all the other windows until Home Depot or Walmart gets more of them in and then I got these two long ones right here that I'm going to use for going across the back of the hatch like you see there, one there and one up top to hang the, uh, the back curtain. So I'm not sure which way I want to go if I want to face the fabric out or in. I know they're just kind of stuffed in the towel bar but I'm trying to get a look like what the outside of the van will look like when I uh, have the curtains hanging and uh, plan on doing uh, two pleats per and kind of just doing tie backs um, going down the side will that look better or will the white look better I'm kind of thinking the white will look better on the outside it'll look I, I think it looks too busy I actually don't like the pattern at all I think it, it, no matter where I put it it just seems like it's too busy um, but I'm going to start with that and I'm going to do the, I think the floor all on the inside. I'll see as I hang them up, you know. I have six of them. I only need five of those panels. The board track racers in here from the bike ride. From the uh, show, rather. Tied in. Um, but I think I'll put the floor pattern going across. If I don't like it, I bought some fabric dye a while ago. I, I got red like ruby red I think it was the color and I got um, a darker color too so I can kind of I think it was black and uh, I may mix the two of them and try to tone them down to kind of match more the inside of the color of the interior so having said that I'm gonna get my ass on it and uh, start doing that what's is going on the in the front, everything is the same in there. Oh, I did pick up something at a yard sale. Um, this thing. This is a um, a bagger for a uh, uh, a bagger. 
it's a dust collection system for uh, woodworking and right now I use um, my shop vac on my sandblaster over there I stick the sandblaster next to it and then there's the, the uh, shop vac next to it and then there's that black hose hanging out of the wall just kind of see right there that hanging out of the wall I use that to have the shop back go from the cabinet uh, I usually set it over there the shop back and blow out the wall what I'm thinking of doing is um, maybe he's taking this thing and sticking it outside Pop it down for one second and using this to evacuate the sandblast cabinet not a terribly big one, but again, at the same token, it's not all that noisy. Just set that outside. Uh, I know I got to keep weather away, but so what I might try and do is get a garbage can that can kind of fit over the whole top of it. I'm not sure. I want to do something with that. Might just put it on Craigslist and try selling it the way it is too. But that will fix that problem of uh, with sandblasting. You got to keep the dust out of your uh, your face, so that uh, you don't breathe all that crap in because it's not good for you. So I may try mounting that outside the wall there and uh, have it so that when I turn the light on for the cabinet, it will also automatically turn on the um, the vacuum outside and uh, evacuate the air. And what else? It's a musical swapping on the uh, uh, Rat Rod ATV. I ended up taking, um, I got a tractor, uh, a Craftsman GT6000. It's like a 94, really well-built tractor. I paid uh, 200 bucks for it, but I uh, just needed some love. It's from one of the local uh, neighbors uh, approached me on it. And uh, so I needed a tractor battery for it. And uh, this had a tractor battery in it and it was okay it was all set up for it but uh, a heavier battery for the winch and all the compressor and everything wouldn't hurt so i had this battery from uh, the junkyard they're 15 bucks a piece 20 bucks a piece uh, with your trade-in and lifetime warranty so i stuffed this one in here and uh, i had to kick out i added a an on off switch for power uh, on this guy so that uh, I could disconnect because it had a parasitic drain and a parasitic drain being that stupid uh, cheap um, Harbor Freight uh, remote control winch but the remote I think constantly looks for a signal and it draws the battery down very slowly so I had to go put a kill on it uh, anyway so I kicked that out to give it a little bit room, more room from the battery it was sitting straight and uh, stole the battery out of this, fixed up that tractor. <laughs> was, that, was that a rant <laughs> off of, uh, off topic? What else is going on, anything? Uh, not doing much with the bug. Just kind of waiting and see on that. I'm in no hurry, you just gotta buy the stuff when the price is right, so that's what I did with that. The Honda tractor is, uh, I put the Honda tractor up for sale. And I've been getting some calls on that, but I'm starting to think that I may keep that tractor if I can find a snowblower for it. Uh, there's one, it's in Rhode Island. I wrote an email this morning to see what happens, see if I can get uh, access to that. And uh, if I can do that, if I can set that up with a snowblower, I'm gonna get rid of the errands that I have that has the, uh, the rototiller on the back and the snowblower on the front. Use this one, it's just a, this is a 97, and it's just a better condition. Uh, all around and uh, I have another craftsman out back with a bagger on it uh, for mowing grass that I can sell too so I'll knock it down from two machines to one so all right guys well I'm gonna probably wrap this up a little bit and uh, get it downloading and start building some curtains see what we can get oh I did um another yard sale fine I picked up a winch at a yard sale Went through that it looks pretty good um, this other moped I uh, kind of went through clean the carb and uh, it looks like hell but it runs really good 
see if we can do a, see if we can do, we can do a fire up on this. I should not start, that would suck. And let's see, we can prop you up under a, a bolt or something. Uh, I think this is going to turn into, uh, between the two of them, I think it's going to turn into a, um, uh, like a chopper moped. I think I'm going to cut both bikes up and try to make some cool out of them. Drivetrain part, but it seems like it's in really good shape. The rest of it's really beat, but the drivetrain seems really good. Doesn't have uh, any lights working, uh, tires beat. Yeah, it's got like no kill switches on it. Um, every light on it was busted up. The back tire is just, you know, somebody put it up against the wall and did, looks like a smoky burnout and ran it down. It's not flat, but it's not far from it. So uh, I think I want to go and uh, uh, modify that. We'll make like a, I'm thinking like a chopper out of it, stretch, rake the front end, put a long forks on it. Get the seat down in front of the front tire, make the whole bike longer, that kind of thing. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to register it first so that it has a good plate on it and then cut it up from there. And uh, we'll see what that turns into. All right. Enough of this uh, ranting in circles here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. And uh, stay tuned. We'll see how we make out with uh, getting the bus together and getting all the uh, interior back in it. And uh, once I do that, we will clean up the inside of my... Uh, tank garage and get rid of all the junk that's laying around in there and uh, make some room so thanks for watching